Hey everybody, how's it going? Licky Giraffe here in the house with another episode of Dark Souls playthrough. Now, on the last episode, I believe that I defeated Grave Lord Nido down in the Tomb of the Giants. So uh, I've done kind of a couple of minor things uh, in between then and now. Um, I got one or two more levels just so I could uh, wield Havel's Great Shield instead of the Great Shield of Artorias, uh, mainly because it's an absolutely boss shield. Uh, I'll bring it up for you now. Uh, like, look at that damage reduction, 100% physical, 90% magic, 80% fire, 80% lightning. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I just really, really, uh, really like the look of it. And so I really wanted to get it. Uh, 50 strength is the requirement, which is which is really high. <laughs> but uh, but no, I like it. And then as well, with my dragon's tooth, I am the uh, picture image of Havel himself. Uh, but anyway, back to the game. So uh, I find myself down at the Lord Vessel, and I'm ready to step uh, step through the gates and onto more Dark Souls. So let's carry on. Let's run down here. Uh, so, like I said, I have played through Dark Souls once before, so I do remember this bit, and I will do know where I'm going. So, hopefully, it'll be a little more interesting than if I was just wandering around aimlessly. So, yeah, let's get going. Pretty, pretty dusty place here. Uh, also, a very exciting time to be alive. The uh, Steam Summer Sale is on. I uh, wonder if you guys got anything interesting. I myself picked up uh, Alien Isolation, which was. How much did I pay for it again? I think it was $12.50. Um, now, I don't usually buy horror games, but I heard very, very good things about this one. So I'm willing to, uh, to give it a try. And I was thinking that I might, uh, might stream that one. Um, I should do the one with a webcam attached as well, so you guys can see how terrified I get. Uh, thanks to thanks to my friend Dave for uh, for giving me that idea. Uh, let me see. Uh, what other games am I thinking of doing? I'm thinking of doing a Total War stream, probably Attila. Uh, maybe as the Roman Empire. Uh, I've, I've played a lot of the Vikings in that game. Um, say the Saxons, but I've never played any of the. Uh, at the Western or Eastern Romans. Uh, so I think that could be fun. Um, definitely they are they are very distinct factions. So uh, so yeah. I look forward to doing that. And I think are there any other uh, any other games I have? There's that. There's Dark Souls obviously, Alien Isolation, uh, Outlast is another another horror game that I am thinking of <laughs> I picked it up, I think, at some some Steam sale, and I played it a little. I didn't really get that into it, mainly because I was just kind of terrified the whole time. But uh, no, not there. Oh well. Uh, but I feel like if uh, well, depending on how I find streaming horror games goes, I might be able to get a little bit more into it uh, than I did last time. Turn it over here. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So, uh, so yeah, um, that's pretty much the, the plan schedule uh, with regards to stuff that I might stream in the future. Cut the fall off here. Uh, where is that knight? Oh, there he is. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this uh, this weapon against uh, the final boss. Uh, I think it might be a little too slow. Uh, so I'll probably switch to the Claymore. Might just might just switch to the Claymore now, actually. Oh, oh, Black Knight gear, very nice. Um, I might switch to the Claymore. I will wield both at the same time, but I think I'm missing like one or two more points in, uh, in my equip load. So I can't, unfortunately. I have to pick one of the other, as I'm really slowly. 
which is not very interesting at all. So I'm back to the trusty claymore. Uh, let me think. Yeah, before before I started recording this particular th playthrough, I pretty much used the claymore entirely. Uh, rushed to go get it as quickly as I could, and then just played uh, played with it. I really enjoy it as a weapon. Uh, I really like its move set. I love its timing. Uh, it's just it's just a super weapon, and actually that's one of the things I really like about Dark Souls, is that. Like there's a load of different weapons in the game, and you're able to just pick whichever one you like the feel of and upgrade it. You know, like uh, some some weapons obviously are like better than others, but you're never going to make a terrible choice with a weapon that you enjoy. You could really say spend the soul to like upgrade it and such. Then uh, really, you know, any 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 weapon can be can be good fun. Which is something I really like, you know, because you're you're not kind of like, oh, should I upgrade this weapon? I might find a better one later. You know, there's there's no more that you kind of you kind of focus on a weapon and upgrade it and uh, get really used to using it and get really good at using it. That's one of the things I really like about Dark Souls. Oh, oh. Mistake. Ah, oh, missed on that as well. Another mistake. I was doing so well. So many Black Knight weapons. <laughs> I've heard actually good things about the Black Knight Halberd. Uh, never used it myself. I've heard good things about it though. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's good about it. Part of the moveset or something, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Is a pretty amazing sword, actually. I kind of want it. Oof, ow. Shut up. Wait for this guy to let up a little bit. Too much of my health. Ah, oh, jeez, getting uh, getting messy. This guy does a lot of damage. Ah, nice. Is, so it's pretty difficult. They kind of just keep whacking away at me. To, uh, to S this up. And yeah, no, those grabs are definitely a, a weak point of his. He does leave himself quite open, and it's pretty easy to dodge them. So now I've got down to under half health.
should take too much longer there. I think I was able to stagger him. And also, actually, I'm not sure how well you guys can hear it, but uh, the music playing in this boss fight is really interesting. Uh, like not, you know, like not very loud, not very stated. Just kind of, it's quiet. And I guess it kind of reflects. Uh, I suppose it kind of reflects the the tone of the fight. Like it isn't like you're defeating some mad evil villain. Uh, unless I've grossly misunderstood the plot. Ah, jeez, I'm really messing this up here. Can I lose with one hit left on Gwyn or the center? No, I cannot, thankfully. Okay, that's Gwyn defeated. Victory achieved. See, so now you know we've 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 killed the Lord of Cinder. Instead of these these mad opening credits, sorry, like closing credits, should I say? It's a big uh, musical score. It's, it's kind of it's just dark, really. It's very quiet. It's no music, and I like that. I like that. I think it's um, I think it suits the story overall. You know, based on based on what's just happened, you know, like there. It's really making me think. I like that. Also, if you, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is uh, this is the good ending. Uh, this is the, uh, pretty much where I become uh, Lord of Cinder, and I pretty much bring fire to the darkness. There's me being a boss. And now for those of you who don't know, uh, after you finish Dark Souls, uh, you start all over again. Uh, it's called uh, New Game... Yeah, it's called New Game Plus. Remember the first one's just called... Yeah, New Game Plus. And I'm going to keep all my armor and weapons, but now all the enemies are tougher. Uh, it pretty much just adds kind of a, a bit of replayability, I suppose. So that uh, that actually concludes my uh, my playthrough of Dark Souls, uh, at least for this this current game. Uh, I might come back and do a new game plus with this character, or maybe roll a new character if I decide to uh, to do another walkthrough of Dark Souls or playthrough. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a couple other games before I do that. In any case, uh, thanks so much for, for watching. Uh, what was the end? What, five parts? I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought this was I thought it was a pretty good way to kind of enter enter into the, the, the world of streaming. Oh, excuse me. And I look forward to uh, yeah to kind of doing doing more games and to uh, to discuss them as well. So I guess I will just wait for this cutscene to finish. Just going to get there and speed things up. And we're back where we started. Okay, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. Uh, it was uh, it was great. Great having you. All right, talk to you.